Hey there friends, it's Vanessa from Vanessa Jordan Photography and welcome back to my channel where I teach you graphic design skills that will help your business grow. Today is the start of a new series called Social Media Bootcamp where I am teaching you some tips and tricks for social media, whether it's design or just really using social media for different platforms and tricks that will really help you in the long run. So to get started today, I'm going to be teaching you how to crop your photos in Lightroom for social media. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're going to get started. I just got into Lightroom and this is something I typically do during my editing process. Um, I'll have a couple of photos that I can have in mind that I'm like, oh, these are the ones that I wanna post. But sometimes I'll end up having to go back and go, oh, what was one from that session that I can crop and use for Instagram? Um, this is something that I generally use all the time. So we're gonna import some pictures from a grad session I had not too long ago and then go from there. And I'll show you how to do this super quick. It's super easy, not gonna take you very long at all. As you can tell, I have everything organized very well. So we're gonna import these and um, Hopefully all of you have used Lightroom before. This is what I use for editing purposes. And um, all these all these photos are already edited, so they've been called down to the perfect ones I want to use. So I'll go into develop, this little tab up here. And then there's one I just saw that would look pretty cool. Yeah, with a nice line. So if you go up here to this little rectangle tool and click it, this is the cropping tool. Now you don't need to know the exact pixel measurements because it's great because if you click on the original, you can click on, on all of these. So Instagram, if you want the traditional um, like square for Instagram, you do one by one, which that'll look pretty. And um, if you do any platforms like Planoly, Buffer, anything that automatically uploads them for you, you would want your pictures to be one by one or four by five. Those ones, actually we're gonna reset it. There we go. Those ones, that cropping style, size will fit perfectly in Instagram and is fit for Instagram. And those will automatically be uploaded for you without having a like any issues. So let's, uh, I kind of like this one as one by one. I press enter and perfect, it's cropped. So something that I do, I like to have a separate folder saved and they're just for Instagram. So then when I export them, they're not overwritten on the original file. So let's crop another one. Like this is great for horizontal images is to crop it in a square that's usually what i do crop them in a square and if you if any of you have trouble like let's say you have this beautiful picture and you have an issue of whenever it's in your grid like her head's like cut off this is something that you should keep in mind while shooting you got to keep this a good amount like a good amount above her head so she's not so close to the top because then you're going to get that cropping off so when you crop it to four by five, I usually bump it up to give that extra, that little extra room. So then when it's put into my feed, her head's not cut off. So there, so we have those couple crop, those couple cropped. So if you look below here, they have this little icon and that's usually what I look for. So I'm gonna press command and I'm gonna select those and then I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna say export and export and I'll go right into the folder that I want to export in. And like I said, I have this whole folder structure for how I export my photos. And I have a specific folder for every single client 
every single session that has the raw footage. I have the raws, I have the ones that are edited, and then I have for Instagram. So I have all of these in here. So then they're all separated. I know exactly where they are and I can find them quickly. And then they'll export and then you're good to go. Just things to keep in mind, especially for cropping sake, like for this photo, I still give enough room around so it still tells the story. It's not super cropped in. And same for here. I still, again, that's something that I think about while shooting, giving that headspace so then when it's posted or when it's printed even, it's not super close and it's gonna crop her head off. But as for this image, I do have a little bit there, but even if I were to crop this image, it's not even gonna look that bad. It's still, I still have enough that it's gonna give that illusion that it's not, or it's gonna look that it's not cropped off. But even if it's cropped off in the grid, which it would probably crop off right about there. So it would probably crop off like there in the grid. That isn't so bad because you see her whole face. You can see the expression on her face. She's happy for graduation finally. So I wouldn't be that sad about it. Um, it's just little things to keep in mind of when you're cropping and how to crop them. And they, these are the signature ways not signature, but these are the ways that I personally do it. I mean, you could go into Photoshop and create an action to do that. Um, keep in mind that's coming in a future video, Photoshop actions. Um, but this is how I do it. I do it as I'm editing. If I see a picture, I'm like, oh, that would be awesome that I will export the original image and then I will crop it for Instagram or Facebook or whatever. This is more so for Instagram just because that's where most photos are. So yeah, hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that really helped you learn how to get all of your photos ready for all the social media platforms. You can follow me at uh, Vanessa Jordan Photo on Instagram and make sure you head to the link in the bio to join my education Facebook group. It'll continue this conversation, what we talked about today. It'll continue into the group and go farther and deeper than these videos do. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for more of these fun videos and make sure you tune in next week for the next in this social media bootcamp series. And until next time, bye guys.